This is the new Amazfit T-Rex 3 and this watch almost sounds too good to be true. It features a 1.5 inch AMOLED display, is very durable thanks to its stainless steel construction, offers navigation features including offline maps, has a battery life of up to 27 days and also boasts a wide range of sports, fitness and health features. However, what really sets this watch apart is its price, because Amazfit offers all of this for just $279, which considering everything I've just mentioned and in comparison to its competitors is just incredible. But how does the watch actually perform? Especially since the Amazfit balance, I and many others have come to realize that the brand is still somewhat under the radar and definitely underestimated because it offers a lot for relatively affordable prices. I have now put the Amazfit T-Rex 3 to the test, wearing it during all of my workouts and basically just 24-7. In this video I'll show you all the pros and cons and whether it really lives up to all those great sounding promises. So let's start and have fun. Amazfit has taken a slightly different approach with the design of the T-Rex 3. Instead of a round, square or oval shape, it features an octagonal casing. At first it took me some time to get used to it, but the more I wear the watch, the more I like the design. Of course, however, that's a matter of personal taste. In general, the watch only comes in one size with a case diameter of 48.5mm, which is quite large. Many Garmin watches, for example, come in sizes of 43, 47 and 51mm. Recently, I tested the medium-sized 47mm Phoenix 8 and the Amazfit T-Rex 3 is slightly larger than this. Overall, it's a bit bulky and might not be the best choice for people with smaller wrists. At 13.75mm it's not the thinnest either, but given its overall dimensions it's not particularly thick and the weight of 68.3g is as expected, especially since the watch bezel is made of stainless steel. This gives the watch a premium rugged look and overall it feels well made. Additionally it has a water resistance rating of 10 ATM and is certified for dives up to 45 meters. One thing missing compared to other outdoor sports watches is sapphire glass. Instead it uses Gorilla Glass which is still very durable. Many Amazfit watches in recent years have had non-replaceable straps like the T-Rex Ultra. But with the T-Rex 3 there's now a specially designed quite rigid strap that can be swapped out. It's not as quick and easy as with a quick release band but Amazfit includes a small tool in the box to unscrew the strap. Plus, you also get an adapter that lets you attach any standard 22mm strap to the watch. One major highlight is the display. The Amazfit T-Rex 3 features a 1.5 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 480x480 pixels and a maximum brightness of 2000 nits. That's brighter than most sports watches and more on par with smartwatches, so the display is incredibly bright, easy to read, extremely sharp and as typical for AMOLED, vibrant and high contrast. You can really take advantage of the 2000 nits when using the flashlight. Newer Garmin watches have a dedicated LED light built into the case, the T-Rex 3 doesn't have that, but the display lights up brightly instead. There is also a night mode where the watch face is displayed in red and black to reduce eye strain. Most smartwatches suffer from reduced battery lives partly because of their AMOLED display, so let's take a look at whether this is also the case with the T-Rex 3. On paper, the Amazfit T-Rex 3 offers an almost unbelievable battery life. In a typical usage scenario, as the manufacturer calls it, up to 27 days are possible. However, this refers to a case where you don't use the Always On mode. If you do, you can expect the battery life to be about halved. In GPS mode, when using the high precision multiband, more on that later, the watch should last up to 42 hours. There are also various power saving modes. In watch mode it can last up to 81 days and the maximum GPS runtime for example is up to 180 hours, though this would come at the expense of accuracy. And these settings are only supported for hiking and climbing. In general with these battery life figures the T-Rex 3 is at least on par with traditional sports watches and in some scenarios it even surpasses them. But do all these numbers really hold up in real world usage? The great thing about this is that in the settings on the watch you can find the battery manager section where you can see exactly when you last charged the watch. 
At the time of this recording, I had already been using the watch for a little over nine days. And as you can see here, I haven't charged it a single time since pairing it. And that's despite having recorded 14 training sessions and more than 10 hours of training in total, while also using the always on mode. So even with this very intense usage, the watch would last about 11 to 12 days. During a one hour run with multiband, the watch consumes about 2 to 3% per hour for me, which means it would last around 40 hours, which matches Amazfit's claims very well. In the battery manager, you also get a detailed display showing which functions are impacting battery life, and you can disable them if necessary, such as the SpO2 measurement, the stress monitor, or the always on feature. You can also directly adjust the brightness or make other settings here to extend the battery life. Either way, the battery life is absolutely impressive and doesn't need to shy away from much more expensive competitor watches. Next, let's dive into the main topic of this video and take a look at all the sports, fitness and health features of the Amazfit T-Rex 3. First, a quick look at the general menu setup. From the home screen, you can swipe left for notifications, up for the control center with various settings and right to access a list of all apps installed on the watch. By the way, you might already notice at this point that everything runs super smoothly on the watch. The UI and software are really fast and responsive, definitely faster than on traditional sports watches. You can also see this when scrolling back and down where you have rigid overviews similar to Garmin showing three rigids per screen. You can dive into each rigid for more details and all the animations run very quickly here as well. In daily use, the watch tracks all the classic fitness data such as steps, distance, calories, activity time, floors climbed and of course heart rate. Additionally, it can track blood oxygen saturation, stress levels, heart rate variability and skin temperature which can also be used to monitor the female menstrual cycle. If you want to quickly check your most important health data all at once, there is a feature called One Tap Measurement where you sit still for 45 seconds and get a summary of your current heart rate stress level, blood oxygen level and breathing rate. You can also set health reminders such as alerts for low and high heart rates, low blood oxygen or high stress levels. In such cases, by the way, the watch also offers guided breathing exercises or even full meditation sessions. Of course, sleep tracking is also included. You get a sleep score, a breakdown of different sleep stages, quality of your breathing during sleep and heart rate variability. I found that the sleep analysis matched my own perception quite well. It also detects naps, though I personally don't take naps, so I didn't test that feature further. Moving on to training mode, there are 177 different workout profiles, including all the common sports, but also more unique activities like skydiving, biathlon, sailing and much more. And as is typical with Amazfit, there are also some very niche activities like board games, though I'm not sure why you would track those with a sports watch. Anyway, there should be something for everyone here. Notable mentions also include open water swimming, triathlon and multi-sport modes, which some other watches lack. And as mentioned earlier, the watch is certified for diving up to 45 meters and therefore comes with various dive profiles offering numerous diving features. Some sports like running, cycling or swimming can even be automatically detected by the watch. So if you forget to start a workout, the watch can remind you and it can also recognize 25 different exercises during strength training. If we enter one of those modes, such as running, the screen first shows when the watch has acquired a GPS signal and what your current heart rate is. And at the bottom you can access the settings. There is a training assistant where you can set training goals like running a certain distance or burning a specific number of calories. You can also set alarms for things like high or low heart rate, pause detection is included and you can compete against a virtual pacer which you can customize. A nice feature is that you can create interval workouts directly on the watch and use training templates from the app. During a workout you can display up to 6 data fields at once and there is a right selection of options. Besides the usual stats, the T-Rex 3 can calculate altitude with its barometer and offers advanced metrics like aerobic or anaerobic training effect, training load and even the running power in watts. After workout, you'll see a training summary on the watch and in the app you can view your word and graphs, including advanced stats like cadence for better insight. With many smartwatches, the training mode itself is often decent, but they often lack tools for long-term training analysis to see how your training is affecting your progress over time. 
The Amazfit T-Rex 3 offers various widgets to monitor this. First, there is the readiness feature, which shows you how ready you are for the day based on how much energy you have, similar to Garmin's body battery. You also get a breakdown of the factors involved, such as your physical and mental recovery, resting heart rate, heart rate variability during sleep, breathing quality and skin temperature, which are all indicators for high or low energy levels. Like with sleep analysis, I found that the watch reflected my own perception quite well, though we'll get into accuracy in more detail shortly. In addition to readiness, there is also a training status widget. This shows your training load for the last 7 days, your VO2 max, so your maximum oxygen capacity, and how long you should optimally recover before your next training session. While I fear that Garmin, Polar, Sunto and Coros have slightly more refined algorithms for all of this, Amazfit's analyses are still solid and useful for everyday athletes. There is also the Zep Trainer where you can create training plans yourself or use AI powered coaching. So yeah, overall Amazfit offers plenty of options for training. As we've seen, the Amazfit T-Rex 3 can track an impressive amount of data and statistics. However, it's also crucial that all of this data is reliable, with heart rate being one of the most central metrics. The T-Rex 3 is equipped with a new optical heart rate sensor, so let's take a look at how accurately the watch records heart rate data. Here you can see the recorded data from one of my runs, shown in blue for the watch, directly compared to data from a chest strap, shown in red. And this is one of the best results I've seen in all of my tests so far. To be fair, most watches are quite accurate when it comes to running, but here in many places it really looks like there is only one curve, as the data from the watch and the chest strap are so similar. As a result, the average heart rate differs by only 0.3 beats per minute from the chest strap, which is truly a perfect result, and this was confirmed in my other running sessions as well. However, when cycling, the results were even better. Here I had to check if I accidentally paired the chest strap with the watch, as the curves were completely identical. But I didn't, so the watch records the heart rate during cycling with extreme accuracy. There is really no better result imaginable. During strength training, the recording was predictably less accurate, but still not bad. The watch missed two heart rate spikes, but otherwise kept up fairly well with the chest strap, or at least it was better than most other watches. In this second session, the results were similar. Overall, the accuracy is extremely good for running and cycling and above average for strength training. Still, here I would personally prefer to use the chest strap. And you can of course connect this along with other accessories and sensors to the watch via Bluetooth. Regarding heart rate, you can also send it to external devices via Bluetooth using the Heart Rate Push app, for example to a treadmill, elliptical machine or just your smartphone. Sports watches in the price range of the Amazfit T-Rex 3 often offer plenty of fitness and training features, but tend to lack certain navigation features. Topographic maps in particular are often reserved for the more expensive model. However, luckily this is not the case with the Amazfit T-Rex 3. First off, you can load maps onto the watch via the app, choosing your area and radius, as well as the type of map, such as a basic map, ski map or contour map, which is especially useful for mountain hikes. On the watch you can use a map app, but more importantly you can also use the maps during training. As mentioned, these are proper topographic maps with plenty of details like street names, points of interest and, in the case of the contour maps, elevation lines, hiking trails and much more. You can also choose whether you want the maps displayed in a light or dark design. Here again, when moving around the map, you'll notice how fast the UI is. The map loads much faster than on most other sports watches. You can also load routes onto the watch and use them for navigation. Here you'll get turn-by-turn -turn direction, see how far it is until the next turn, and other useful information. Additionally, you can use a back to start feature, which will navigate you back to your starting point. However, compared to Garmin, one thing that's missing is the ability to create routes directly on the watch. With Garmin, for example, you can create new routes on the fly, such as navigating to the nearest bakery. As with most non-Garmin watches, this is not possible with the Amazfit T-Rex 3, meaning you can only navigate using routes you preloaded onto the watch. But still, I think the topographic maps and navigation features on the T-Rex 3 are very impressive. And since we're talking about navigation features, we should also discuss the GPS accuracy. Here you should know that the Amazfit T-Rex 3 offers what's called dual band frequency GPS, which is slightly more accurate than the traditional GPS. However, many other factors come into play here, including the watch's software and design. So let's take a closer look at the accuracy of the T-Rex 3. 
When running through the city, the accuracy was very good. The track doesn't cut corners or lead through buildings, so the watch tracks my route precisely. I've had this experience with all of my runs under these conditions. The same goes for this slightly longer bike ride. Once again, the watch recorded my route very accurately. Now for the ultimate test. I do this with every watch running on a narrow forest trail in a dense forest under quite challenging GPS conditions, taking the exact same path back and forth. As we can see, the watch tracks this very well with the out and back routes aligning almost perfectly just as they should. I've repeated this test like all others many times and the watch was consistently accurate in my experience. Finally, let's talk about the smart features of the Amazfit T-Rex 3. First of all, something that's relevant to us as athletes, you can control your music with the watch. It also has its own music storage, so you can load songs onto the watch and listen without needing to be connected to your smartphone. The maximum storage for music alongside maps, training records and watch faces is 26 GB. To play music, however, you will need Bluetooth headphones since the watch doesn't have its own speaker. However, it does have its own microphone, meaning it can recognize and record your voice. There is even a new app called Voice Memo, so if you're out without your phone and have a brilliant idea, you can capture it with this app. Amazfit also offers its own voice assistant called Zap Flow, where you can ask things like What's the weather like today in Berlin? As you can see, the watch can't respond with voice, as it doesn't have a speaker, but all the information is displayed on the screen. While this requires an internet connection, you can also give offline voice commands, such as setting a timer. Set a 5 minute timer. You can also query specific data and statistics. How many steps did I take today? Another smart feature is Zap Pay for contactless payments. And as mentioned earlier, you can view all sorts of weather information, including forecasts for the next few days. There is even an extra widget with information about sunrise and sunset, moon phases and tides. Additionally, you can remotely control the camera on your connected smartphone with the watch. Alright, so what can we conclude about the new Amazfit T-Rex 3? Well, a few months ago I made a video about the best sports watches for under $300, which by the way also included the Amazfit Balance. The Amazfit T-Rex 3 hadn't been released at that time, but now it would probably be my new number one in that ranking. Honestly, I've been a Garmin fan for years. I have tested all the models, I love the whole ecosystem, I really enjoy using their watches and I will definitely continue using them. The new Phoenix 8, for example, is a top-notch sport watch. And don't get me wrong, it's definitely better than the Amazfit T-Rex 3 in many regards. But it also starts at $1,000 and depending on the model can go up to $1,200. So if you'd ask me which of the two has the best value for money, I would probably say the Amazfit T-Rex 3. And this does not only apply to Garmin, but also to other traditional sports watch manufacturers like Polar, Coros or Suunto, whose models have become quite expensive in recent years. So it's just refreshing that Amazfit goes against this price trend, because what the T-Rex 3 offers for just $279 is simply incredible. It's very robust and high quality, has a large, bright and beautiful AMOLED display, yet still offers weeks of battery life, navigation features with offline maps and tons of useful training features. Plus, everything, including the watch's accuracy, impressed me in my tests. Honestly, I'm still a bit speechless. So now is the perfect time for you to leave a comment what you think of the new Amazfit TX3. If you found this video helpful or interesting, you could really support me and my work here by giving this video a quick thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any more videos in the future, you should definitely subscribe to this channel. But for now, thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.